Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Noah back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I help people awaken to their true abilities through wellness and spirituality. And thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I'm going to be talking about how to overcome fear, right? And, um, you know, before I go into this video, I'm just going to, you know, kind of throw out a little disclaimer. I'm still fearful of things, you know what I mean? Um, I still fear certain um, things. There are certain things that I wouldn't really want to do. But I want to make this video as kind of an overall idea of what fear is and how we can start to overcome it, you know what I mean? Um, more than likely, by nature, we are humans, right? We Our instinct is to be fearful if, of certain things if we are... Um, if we feel threatened, right? Um, and so, you know, I kind of just want to talk about how you can overcome it in your own personal life. But, you know, in order to overcome it, <clears throat> we have to understand what it actually is, right? Fear. There was an acronym that, you know, I picked up from when I used to go to church camp uh, back when I was younger. And it was that fear is um, false evidence appearing real. And, um, <clears throat> and you know, when I was told this, then it was kind of like fear was a certain thing that was outside of us, right? It wasn't a part of who we were. Um, it was just, you know... Um, It was something on its own, right? And so when we understand this idea that fear is false evidence appearing real, we're able to distinguish it from our actual realities, you know? And um, a lot of the times, right, when we're on, when we watch the news, when you watch media, these type of um, broadcasts, they sell fear, right? Meaning that they sell a solution to a problem that you know, sometimes is created by the news article, right? Um, or they'll say that, you know, um, there will be like a certain death, right, on the news and it will kind of scare us and it will make us fearful. Um, but, you know, we have to realize that these mainstream news media outlets and... Um, and the media in general, it's not usually on our side, right? We can use these things as a tool, but for the most part, it's not on our side. Um, and so, you know, when we realize that fear doesn't really exist, right? It's not really real. Then it's it's easy for us to kind of face it and confront it um, when it brings when it when when it comes up in our life, right? And so, in order to overcome it, we have to understand that it's not really real. Um, that it can it manifests as appearing real, right? It's kind of like an illusion. Um, and so, when we realize this, and that's when we start to truly take back our power, and we start to realize that fear doesn't exist within me, right? I I I create fear through my own thought patterns, and. Um, Another thing that can help is really disassociating yourself with your thoughts, right? A lot of the times when we are about to do something that is fearful, our thoughts kind of get in the way and they're like, oh no, I don't know if you, I want to do this. I don't know if you should do this. I don't know if we should do this. But, you know, um, when that happens and it kind of distracts us and it makes us really, it makes us kind of take on that fear head on. But when we realize that we're not the our our own thoughts, we are the observer of our thoughts, then we're start we are able to kind of understand that you know fear it doesn't have to exist within us. You know what I mean? And um, you know I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed that when you do something, when you overcome fear, right? When you do something that you think is going to be super fearful and that you're super afraid of. 
when you do it, it's actually not that bad, right? This is living proof that fear actually doesn't exist. And that's, it's just a, an illusion that um, we've kind of been fed, you know? Um, because if you remember, you know, um, kids usually aren't really fearful that much, right? Because they're not programmed into buying into the whole fear, fear as a whole, you know what I mean? Um, uh, I was watching uh, The Last Airbender recently, and one of the main characters, Aang, at the beginning of the show, um, he says to um, Katara, he says, if you want to be a waterbender, you have to let go of fear, you know, and I thought that that was really true in order to, in terms of our current reality, because if we want to accomplish anything in our lives, we have to overcome fear and we have to overcome self-doubt. And when we realize that self-doubt and fear is, you know, it's just a thought in our minds, right? We can disassociate from it, meaning that we don't have to identify with our thoughts. And when we don't identify with our thoughts, then it's easier for us to take on things that we would earlier perceive as being fearful, right? And so, um, and when we start to understand that, then that's when we truly take our power back and we're able to accomplish anything. You know what I mean? Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm still fearful of certain things, but I have definitely, this has helped me um, along my journey. It has helped me, um, this idea that, you know, fear is false evidence appearing real and that we can, uh, this, we don't have to identify with those fearful thoughts that we have. It has really helped me throughout my life, um, you know, do things that I was prior fearful of. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed that when you do something that might be fearful at first, it's not, it doesn't really, it's not really as fearful as you, as it may, as it might seem, you know what I mean? Like I'm not a huge roller coasters guy, right? I don't really, I'm kind of scared of like going on like roller coasters. Um, but you know, that's something that I'm working on. You know what I mean? I'm working on building up the courage to going on these um, roller coasters and you know, um, water slides, certain water slides are also, you know, I love water slides, but some of them kind of, you know, I've had that fear come up, you know, as an idea, right? It's like, oh, I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if I can do this. Um, but, you know, certain water slides I've had to kind of been like, you know, get a grip of my, of myself and been like, you know, what's the worst that can happen, right? You fall off the side, <laughs> right? And so, yeah, so I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope you gained some sort of value or education. And um, yeah, this was just an idea that I was thinking about and I felt I felt called to share it with you guys. So thank you for watching. If you guys have made it this far into the video, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for the support that I've been getting. It's been crazy guys. Um, this past year has been insane. Um, like I said, this is only the beginning. I'm going to keep posting and posting these videos. And so if you're, if you're watching this while I have 35 subscribers, you are lucky because I'm not gonna have 35 for, for very much longer. And my goal is 1 million. So when that happens, you know what I mean? If, you, if you've if you watched my videos since I've been here, then you are actually really lucky. So yeah, thank you guys so much again. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. And if you wanna hit me up on Instagram concerning anything, anything at all, my Instagram DMs are always open at Noah is Ark. It should be right here. And with that being said, guys, have a wonderful afternoon, morning, or night, wherever you're at. And peace, love, and happiness. Mwah.